terrifying news. You may not be aware, but it is English Wine Week. And in recent years, English sparkling wine has won awards internationally, with sales rising at more than 10% a year since 2015. Well, to find out uh, the secret behind this success, our correspondent Phil Brewster has been to a vineyard in Nottinghamshire, which is one of the early pioneers of wine growing in the East Midlands. It's early in the growing season, but already the vines at the Hanwell Wine Estate in South Nottinghamshire are looking good. Here, Helenka Brown and her husband Will make English sparkling wine using a variety of grapes. And they're hoping 2022 will be a bumpy year. The grapes this year, the fruit is setting really well, um, the sunshine is really good, a little bit of rain, also, you know, rain on Saturday, that's okay, last week, and, you know, we can manage that because it just brings the growth on better, so they are doing really well. Helenka's passion for winemaking was sparked by her father, who in the 1970s decided to plant what was then the most northerly commercial vineyard in the world. Ten years ago, Helenka branched out on her own planting 8,000 vines here at Hickling Pastures. Though during that time, they've had the odd setback, including hailstorms in August and hungry birds. We've had um, an influx of starlings in October in 2017, came from Central Europe where they're migrating over here. They're hungry, they come a long way. They see beautifully developing Pinot Noir red grapes, and then down they come. In the last couple of decades, English wine has been a huge success story, with pre-pandemic sales rising by almost 11% a year since 2015. And it seems climate change has also played its part. Over the last 10-15 years, the temperature during the growing season has gone up in, the, in Nottinghamshire by a whole degree. Now that means you can get things like the champagne varieties that we have here ripe, whereas 20 years ago, it would have been much more of a struggle. If all goes well, Helenka and Will will have enough grapes to make around 8,000 bottles. So far, they've resisted the temptation to expand, confident the growing demand for English sparkling wine will do the job for them. There's got to be 8,000 birthday parties and celebrations in the East Midlands at which we can share those bottles. So that's the plan. We are boutique. We're going to stay boutique. We are local. We're sustainable. You know, those those are the most important things for us. Bill Brewster, ITV News, Nottinghamshire. Seems to have it all planned out. I know. And Phil, good job for Phil, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah. But so there you are, you see, there's one of the positives of global warming. Well, I suppose it is definitely helping them on the farm, isn't it? So on the, on the farm, on the vineyard. <laughs> the vineyard. <laughs> Toiling in the vineyard, of course, is Jez. I know what toiling's all about. I certainly do. Do you know something? There's nothing, nothing says uh, nectar like sipping uh, alcohol, or dare I say, can I say that word? Alcohol in the sunshine. It's absolutely glorious, don't you think? Yeah. And well, I think.